G'day, welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's a probability question for the lower high school grades, and it goes as follows. Three distinct vertices of a cube are chosen at random. What is the probability that the plane determined by these three vertices contains a point inside the cube? Okay, okay, obviously I'm going to do strategy number four, draw a picture. So let me draw a cube. So here's a cube, da -da -da -da, making nice squeaky sounds. So three distinct vertices are chosen at random. So one, two, three, just chose three at random. I guess there's a hidden one. I could have chosen that one, but no, there's a hidden one. I guess there's eight vertices in all. Um, what is the probability that the plane determined by them uh, contains a point inside the cube. So actually, yeah, if I draw the plane that sort of goes through these vertices, I'm not going to try to draw it, it's going to be a real mess, but I can see that plane is definitely going to cut through the cube, go through the inside. So that's just something the question wants. Um, could a plane not cut through the inside? Well, actually, yeah. It could happen if, uh, say, the three vertices were on the same face, in which case the plane would actually match the face and fail to go through the inside of the cube. All right, all right, so now I've got the question. Choose three vertices at random, what are the chances that I'm in an arrangement where the three vertices aren't on the same face? Because if they're on the same face, I get a plane that doesn't go through, this, through the center of the cube. All right. Ooh, okay, what am I gonna do then? Um, all right, how am I gonna count this? Uh, well, okay, well, first of all, we have to choose the vertices, and in probability, you can either do them simultaneously, but I always have a hard time understanding what simultaneous means in probability theory, Equivalently, I could just choose the vertices one at a time. I choose a vertex, and I choose this one. Great, that's going to happen. I'll choose a vertex. And when I choose a second vertex, it could be, oh, there's some cases. It could be in the same face, or it could be, well, not in the same face, which is what that'd be. Um, all those ones in the same face, or well, the only one that's not in the same face is this guy. So, once I've chosen the first vertex, if I happen to choose this vertex the second, there's a one in seven chance of that, then I'm guaranteed to have a plane that doesn't go through the center. But that could still happen here. Well, actually, that's feeling complicated. I feel like there's too many cases, because that third vertex could either be in the same face or could be out again. Ugh, I don't know, that's, that's hard. Well, actually, actually, rather than count the things I do want, what if I count the things that I don't want and then subtract it from the total number of things? That's probably a better way. Oh, actually, I can do that. That seems more likely. Maybe the question is, out of all the ways I could choose three vertices, how many of those have all three vertices in the same face? Beautiful. Um, there are six faces. And there are, what, how many ways could I choose three, three vertices and one face? I guess there's four ways, which, whichever blob I'm not choosing. I feel like I can now count how many ways to choose three vertices in the same face. I'll divide that by the total number of ways to choose three vertices in general, which I haven't thought about yet, and that'll give me the probability I don't want, which is then gonna be a way to get to the probability I do want. All right, all right. Bit of a messy board. That was all my scratch thinking, but I feel like there's a strategy there. So see if you can organize those thoughts, get a counting method going, and get the answer to this problem. Um, if you get the same, get an answer, check with the answer that goes with the essay to this video. Because um, I got somewhere too, and I'd like to know if our answers agree. That'd be kind of neat. And then, of course, this problem is ripe for more thinking about these sort of counting things. So lots of cool stuff to be had here. So try it out, compare our answers, and then we'll see where we're at. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more Curriculum Inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.